been yellow. Um, so I am about to get on my Peloton. This is week two of my fitness journey. Um, last week it was pretty successful. Um, I did weigh myself yesterday and I lost one pound. So I'm very proud. I'm very really happy about that. So right now I'm about to do a workout. I think I'm gonna do Cody's Pop Ride. So I like Tunde, I love Cody. I think I need more people that I need to go to for Peloton, but um, they just make it really fun and worthwhile and I love their music. So, watch your ride. Cooking breakfast. Breakfast. I got my eggs. Please ignore my dad in the background. My fruit, my toast. And I'm gonna have tea this time. I'm not gonna have hot chocolate. <laughs> this is my meal. I'm gonna put some sesame seed. Everything but the bagel. <laughs> Tastes so good. And then I'm gonna make some tea. I don't know what tea I'm gonna have, but I'll figure it out. Let's see what I have in my selections. I have stress tea, lemon ginger, I love lemon ginger, peppermint, apple cinnamon. I think I might go with the peppermint today. So I don't burn my mouth. I'm going to put a little water in this, because I'm a baby. And my meal's complete. Hey everyone, so I just went to Target and I just um, picked up some groceries. Um, a little few things that I probably don't need, <laughs> but you know, that's how you, you do it with Target. So I'm going to do a little haul for you guys. Okay, so. I picked up this book, it's keto friendly, and it's Keto Meal Prep by Flav City. I don't know if you guys have seen him on YouTube, but he's like amazing and I just love watching all his videos, especially like Costco and Target. So he came out with a cookbook, him and his wife came out with a cookbook for keto friendly stuff. He always like reading the nutrition value and like everything and he breaks it down, what's good and what's not. So, yeah. I kind of like based a lot of my groceries on like his recommendation because he really breaks down on like why it's good for you and why it's not. So this book, I'm going to see if it does anything. So he did recommend these cookies and you know I do have a sweet tooth especially when it comes to chocolate. So I got some keto chocolate chips. So tonight I'm making um, like a squash pasta. So I picked up some butternut squash pasta sauce. So I'm kind of excited to see like how this would go. It's by the Good and Gather brand. Okay, I picked up some of these rice. They're like 90 seconds, but they're really good. Like Bobby was saying that the flavors are really good and um, the, the content in them are pretty decent, especially the wild rice. So I got quinoa, brown rice, and red rice. So, one thing about me, I'm lactose intolerant, so this is a must. I love oat milk, I love soy milk, um, almond milk, but mostly I, I think I love oat milk the best. Um, I got some keto pancake mix, some black beans. More pack of rice. This is one that Bobby was talking about. So, oh, some like sauce that I could put on my chicken or stuff, or just flavor up things. Especially when I go to work and I want a little flavor in my meals. Um, I got some night night tea. I don't know if this will work, but we'll see. Um, it's supposed to give you a good night's sleep, so I'm thinking of drinking this before I. Like after I come home from a night shift and see if it works. Some syrup. More rice. <laughs> this one is uh oh it's, this is not rice. This is black lentils. 
So that's a good protein. I got some bagels. I think I might have one of these like right now because I haven't eaten since breakfast. So I'm gonna make myself a little lunch. I got some keto cereal by Cashew. Let's see how it tastes. It's dark cocoa, so it should taste good. A little chocolate flavor. Um, I got some keto bread. I don't know much about this, but I saw keto and I read. I was reading the content, and it like seemed pretty legit. So we'll see. So my boyfriend like loves these pancakes. He made them for me over the weekend. So I'm like really excited. And I hope that like, um, you know, these are um, the Kodak cakes. And I wanna try these and hopefully they're good. Protein based. And then I got their oatmeal. I haven't tried their oatmeal yet. My boyfriend has and he says he loves it. So I'm definitely gonna try it. And then lastly, just some tea, cap, decaffeinated tea. Um, I just like to pick up a few teas every time I go to the grocery store, because you don't know. Like, you know, if you want something different. All right, so that is my grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed. Um, tonight I am gonna be making butternut, I'm gonna be making squash, but it's gonna be like almost like a pasta. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Hey everyone, so now I am making dinner. My boyfriend is coming over. My dad's here, mom's here. Um, they kind of ate a little earlier, but I'm making dinner for us. Um, so I wanna show you what I'm making. So, I am making squash. So, I'm making this squash and it's gonna be like pasta. So I got like squash sauce from like the Target haul that I did earlier, and I'm gonna try to make it so it's like a better carb, and it's not too carby. So hopefully it'll come out good. And then I'm making steamed vegetables right here. Um, so that's in there. Um, it's gonna take a while because it boils and then it steams. And then I have some rotisserie chicken that I'm going to be using. And that is what I'll just warm up and we'll serve. And that will be our protein. for this meal I've had squash a few times but this is like one of the first times I'm making it so I'm excited <laughs> Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs>